Disclaimer, the advice in this 90 second video works really well if you're trying to buy a place and it should be used for estimating. Your property taxes could be different. Hey Lauren, spontaneous, how do you calculate property taxes? Why don't you just teach him the trick? Oh, I guess I could do that. Look at all my diapers. Do you want to use the toilet? Yeah. Right now? Not right now. So lenders will conservatively use 1.25% to calculate your property taxes, which looks like this on a $500,000 property. But here's the thing, 1.25% is usually conservative. We usually see property tax rates around 1.1, 1.12, or 1.15%, which works out to these numbers. You'll see that those actual numbers are usually always lower than the lender conservative 1.25%. So here's the trick, here's the life hack so that you never have to calculate property taxes again. Lauren, what's the life hack? <laughs> It's actually very simple. It's whatever the sales price is minus the last three digits. And that gives you your monthly payment. Let's do a few examples. A $500,000 house works out like this. $857,000 house works out like this. Million five, same thing. How about $257,000? Garbage. Same thing. Garbage. That's right, property taxes helps pay for those. Garbage. Subsidized monopoly, Garbage. different topic. See, the base rate for property taxes is usually 1% in states like the state of California, but there are always additions, there are always little extra add-ons, and that's why lenders round up to 1.25%. You can, however, round up to 1.2%, still be conservative, and never calculate your property taxes again when you're trying to buy a place.